After studying this module, you shall be able to learn about various thermoelectric phenomena, derive equation of thermoelectricity or Kelvin equation, compare Seebeck and Peltier effect, know the applications of irreversible thermodynamics in biological systems. Thermoelectric phenomena. Thermoelectric phenomena include the effects which arise when the junctions of two metals of thermocouple are kept at two different temperatures. Suppose a thermocouple consisting of two metals M and M prime whose junction in electrical contact are kept at temperatures T and T plus delta T. Because of this temperature difference at the two junctions, potential and thermal gradients are developed and the heat and electric charge will flow. You can see in the diagram which is given here. Now we will discuss the thermoelectric phenomenon in detail. There are various types of thermoelectric phenomenon. There are number of thermoelectric effects, but we will discuss only three effects in details. Seebeck effect, Peltier effect and Thomson effect. First we will see Seebeck effect. In Seebeck effect, one junction of a bimetallic couple is heated and other junction is cooled so that an electromotive force is generated in the circuit that is EMF is developed between the ends of junction of two metals because of the temperature gradient at the two metal junction. In this effect EMF between junction A and B is measured when no current is flowing at these points. Potentiometrically, the EMF is measured at the terminals X0 and X0 prime. These terminals are at same temperature to avoid thermoelectric EMFs inside the measuring system. The EMF E can be written as the integral of d phi by dx from under the limit x0 to x0 prime where phi is the electric potential. The thermoelectric power is derivative of electric potential with respect to temperature and is given by dE by dt is equals to minus d phi by dx into dx by dt which gives minus d phi by dt. Now we will see the Peltier effect. In 1834, Peltier found that when an electric current passes through bimetallic circuit, then absorption of heat takes place at one junction and liberation of heat at another junction. For maintaining constant temperature, the rate at which heat must be supplied to or removed from the junction is proportional to the current and reverses sign when the direction of current is reversed. Then absorption or liberation of heat depends upon the direction of current flow. In this effect, two junctions are kept at the same temperature and current I passes through wire. Thus, some amount of heat QH is absorbed at one junction and some amount of heat is released at other junction that is minus QH. The heat flow per unit current at constant temperature is called Peltier heat which is denoted by phi which is equals to heat added or removed divided by I or we can write QH by I which is equals to 0. The Peltier heat is dependent on temperature and if the junctions are held at different temperature then there will be a net influx or efflux of heat from or to the surroundings. In this case two irreversible effects are observed. These are the flow of heat due to temperature gradient and flow of current due to potential gradient. Then the rate of entropy production 
or dissipation function is given by the equation 5, where QH and I are the flows and terms within the brackets are corresponding forces. The relevant phenomenological equations are given by equation 6 and equation 7. In the equation, the term minus 1 by t into dt by dx is equals to negative gradient of t by t and minus d phi by dx is equals to minus gradient phi which is given in equation 8. Now, as in Seebeck experiment, current flow I is equals to 0, then from equation 7, the following expression is obtained, which is given in equation 9 and 10. Using dt is equals to 0, the Peltier heat expression becomes L21 by L22. Equation 11 and in equation 12, we have pi by dE by dt is equals to T into L12 divided by L21. By using Onsaga reciprocal relation, which is L12 is equals to L21, the expression becomes pi is equals to T dE by dt. The equation is equation for thermoelectricity and is referred as Kelvin equation. Now we see the Thomson effect. The Thomson effect was predicted by Lord Kelvin in 1851. This effect describes heating and cooling of a current carrying conductor with a temperature gradient. Let the current density J passes through the homogeneous conductor, then the Thomson effect predicts the rate of heat production per unit volume that is dq by dt as minus kappa j into delta t where kappa is the Thomson coefficient and delta t is the temperature gradient. Thomson effect takes place in the steady state system rather than equilibrium system, but when the direction of flow of current is reversed, then the direction of Thomson heat flow is also reversed. Now we see the comparison between Seebeck, Peltier and Thomson effect. So first of all we see the Seebeck effect and the cause of it. The temperature gradient at the junction of two metals is the cause for Seebeck effect and its manifestation is the development of EMF between the ends of junction of the two metals. The Peltier effect is caused by the passage of current from an external source through a circuit consisting of two different metals and it causes heat absorption or liberation depending upon the direction of current flow. Maintaining a temperature gradient in a wire of homogeneous material through which current flows is cause for Thomson effect which shows heat must be supplied to or extracted from the wire to maintain a temperature gradient. Irreversible thermodynamics for biological system and coupled reactions. Biological systems are the open systems that is both matter and energy are exchanged with the environment. The growth of living organism or cell is characterized by transitions resulting in greater order and thus decrease of entropy from the initial state. For an isolated system, entropy of the system increases due to spontaneous change and hence resulting in increase of disorder. Thus, if biological system is treated as an isolated system instead of open system, then the basic principle of thermodynamics are violated. Global behavior of living organism can be better understood by theory of non-equilibrium stationary states as 
it has also been suggested by Prigogin. The evolution of living organism up to the stationary state may be considered as taking place under a certain number of constraints determined by the outside world. Constraints such as the concentration of some substance in the outside world which are transformed inside the living organism. The stationary state can be regarded as the state of minimum entropy production per unit time regardless of the nature of constant parameters. In a biological system, mainly process of metabolism contribute to the entropy production that is change in the internal entropy with respect to time that is change in the internal entropy with respect to T whereas the assimilated food is degraded into simple substance such as CO2 which is accompanied by liberation of energy. As the organism grows, the total rate of entropy produced is negative although change in internal entropy is positive, but the change in external entropy is negative and greater than the internal entropy change. This reduction in entropy indicates greater order in the organism. During the growth of organism, it is subjected to several fixed constraints exerted by the outside world. So, the maturation of organism is accompanied by decrease in entropy when the steady state or stationary state of biological system is reached. Then the total rate of entropy production is ds by dt becomes 0. As at stationary state, the internal entropy change is equal to the external entropy change. The system remains stable to external perturbations. In the steady state, a system loses minimum amount of free energy and it is most economical in terms of energetic standpoint. Thus, it states that physical principle behind the evolution of phenomena of life is a concept of least dissipation of energy, but the living system are equipped with the series of regulating mechanism that maintain the steady state and bring organism back to its unperturbed condition similar to the action of the restoring force coming into play in any fluctuation from stationary state in the physical system. Now let us summarize. Thermoelectric phenomenon include the effects which arise when the junction of two metals of thermocouple are kept at the two different temperatures. Seebeck effect, Peltier effect and Thomson effect are the types of thermoelectric effects. In Seebeck effect, EMF is measured between the junction of thermocouple when no current is flowing through it, while in Peltier effect, EMF is measured when the current I is flowing through it. EMF is written as the negative integral of d phi by dx. Peltier heat is given as heat added or removed divided by I. The equation of thermoelectricity is given by pi is equals to T into dE by dt.